Hello budding tinkerers and innovators. Welcome to a new video in the ATL Lab equipment video series. These videos help you learn about several sensor and actuator devices. In this video, we will learn about force pressure sensors, various type of force pressure sensors, their applications and how to build your own circuit using force pressure sensors. A force pressure sensor is a device that measures the amount of force or load applied to an object. It converts the mechanical force into an electrical signal that can be measured and analyzed. In fact, there are multiple types of force pressure sensors. Common among them are the strain gauge sensors, piezoelectric sensors, capacitive force sensors and optical force sensors. A strain gauge sensor consists of a metallic foil pattern that changes resistance when subjected to deformation or strain. When a force is applied to the sensor, it deforms slightly. This deformation alters the resistance of the strain gauge. The change in resistance is converted into an electrical signal which can be measured and analyzed. Imagine a strain gauge sensor embedded in a bridge. As vehicles pass over, the sensor measures the stress and strain on the bridge structure. This data is continuously monitored to ensure the bridge remains safe and sound, alerting engineers to any potential issues before they become critical. Piezoelectric sensors consist of a piezoelectric element sandwiched between two conductive electrodes. When a force is applied, the piezoelectric element deforms. This deformation generates an proportional electric signal which can be measured and processed to determine the magnitude of the applied force. Imagine a piezoelectric force sensor embedded in a car's tire. As the car moves, the sensor continuously measures the pressure inside the tire, providing real-time data to the driver or vehicle's control system. This helps in maintaining optimal tire pressure, improving safety and fuel efficiency. A capacitive force sensor consists of two conductive plates separated by a dielectric material. When a force is applied to the sensor, the distance between the conductive plates changes, altering the capacitance value. This change in capacitance is measured and translated into a force reading. The change in capacitance is proportional to the applied force. Imagine a capacitive force sensor integrated into the touchscreen of a smartphone. When a user uses a drawing app on the smartphone, the user can apply different levels of pressure to the screen to vary the thickness and opacity of brush strokes. This makes the digital drawing experience more natural and akin to using traditional art tools. Optical force sensors use optical components to detect and measure force, pressure or displacement. When a force is applied, it causes a change in the light transmission properties, such as intensity, phase, wavelength or polarization. This change in light transmission properties is then processed and converted into an electrical signal corresponding to the magnitude of the applied force. Imagine an optical force sensor integrated into a robotic surgery system. The sensor measures the precise force applied by the surgical instruments, providing real-time feedback to the surgeon. This ensures delicate tissues are handled with the utmost care, reducing the risk of damage and improving surgical outcomes. Now, let us look at a few more applications of force pressure sensors. Force pressure sensors are used in weighing scales to measure the weight of objects placed on them. You can also find force pressure sensors in weighing scales that we use for checking our body weight. Force pressure sensors are even used in biometric devices such as blood pressure monitors. You will also find force pressure sensors used in touch screen devices such as kiosks, tablets and smartphones. Force pressure sensors are also used within car seats to determine whether the driver's seat is occupied or empty. These sensors are also used in crash testing of vehicles where very high pressures are generated. When it comes to industrial use, force pressure sensors are used for ensuring precision in machines and processes, such as in robotic arms and grippers. In the energy sector, force pressure sensors are used in oil and gas exploration to monitor pressure and stress in drilling equipment and pipelines. 
having a good understanding of force pressure sensors, their types and application areas, it's time you learned how to put together a circuit that integrates force pressure sensor with an Arduino UNO. Connect the force pressure sensor as shown in this circuit diagram. Make sure to use the four colored light emitting diodes in the circuit. Scan the QR code shown here to download the Arduino sketch for force pressure sensor and upload it to the Arduino UNO board. When you power up the Arduino board, all four LEDs will be off as shown here. Now, gently touch the force pressure sensor with your finger. The green LED lights up indicating the sensor has detected a light pressure. Next, apply a little more pressure on the force pressure sensor with your finger. The blue LED now lights up indicating the sensor has detected a slightly higher pressure. Increase the pressure on the force pressure sensor a little more. The yellow LED now lights up indicating the sensor has detected a higher pressure. Squeeze your finger against the force pressure sensor now. You will notice the red LED glow indicating the sensor has detected even higher pressure. Like this circuit, you can build interesting applications of your own using the force pressure sensor and trigger different types of actions for different pressure measurements. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching.